Welcome Baseball Busters fans, today we're diving deep into a controversial topic that has left a lasting impact on the world of baseball, the biggest liars in the baseball world. From the steroid era to the shocking revelations, we're exposing the players who went to great lengths to deceive fans, teammates, and the entire baseball community. The steroid era of baseball, often celebrated for its riveting moments, is a period that, in retrospect, casts a sobering shadow over the sport. The unforgettable home run chase of 1998 featuring sluggers like Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa became a symbol of baseball's electrifying potential. Yet, as the crack of the bat echoed through the stadiums and home runs soared into the stands, a cloud of suspicion loomed over the authenticity of these remarkable achievements. This era characterized by an unprecedented surge in home runs and offensive prowess not only thrilled fans but also introduced a troubling undercurrent of controversy. The allure of the long ball captivated audiences. But beneath the surface, a disconcerting narrative unfolded, one of players seeking an edge through the use of banned substances, forever altering the landscape of the game we hold dear. March 17, 2005 stands etched in the annals of baseball history as a pivotal moment when the game faced its demons head on. The House Committee on Government Reform convened a marathon 11-hour hearing in Washington, D.C., placing 10 baseball players and executives under the unforgiving glare of the oath. This unprecedented event not only was just about the game on the field, it was a reckoning, a demand for accountability, and a push for Major League Baseball to fortify its policies against the menace of steroids. As the nation watched, three figures emerged from the shadows, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, and Rafael Palmero, each a symbol of an era stained by the question of integrity. The hearing wasn't just about statistics or records, it was about the soul of America's pastime, under scrutiny on Capitol Hill. The 2005 congressional hearing was a stage where the illusions of baseball's purity crumbled, exposing a sport grappling with the consequences of a quest for greatness, entangled with the use of performance-enhancing drugs. In this crucible, the players faced not just interrogations, but a demand for transparency that would forever alter the narrative of baseball's hallowed history. The echoes of that day would linger, demanding answers to questions that went beyond the confines of a ballpark. Mark McGuire, a key player in the 1998 home run chase, chose a path of non-transparency during the hearing. Refusing to answer questions directly, he claimed legal constraints. However, the truth caught up with McGuire, and he later admitted to using steroids and PEDs, expressing regret for his evasive tactics. Sammy Sosa, McGuire's fellow home run contender, took a different approach. Through carefully worded denials, he maintained innocence in both English and Spanish. However, scrutiny later revealed potential legal loopholes in his statements, suggesting a more calculated form of lying. Rafael Palmero, initially seen as the good guy in the hearing, vehemently denied using steroids, even wagging his finger. However, the prideful denial crumbled when he tested positive for PEDs. Palmero's fall from grace showcased a lie in its most unprofessional and proud form. Roger Clemens, an iconic pitcher, faced accusations of steroid use. He vehemently denied ever being injected with illegal substances. However, one of his trainers claimed otherwise, leading to a federal indictment. Clemens' case exposed the unraveling of a denial in the face of mounting evidence. Alex Rodriguez, a titan of the game whose denial of steroid use unfolded as a masterclass in maintaining a polished public image. In a televised interview, a Rod Staunchy refuted any association with performance-enhancing substances, presenting himself as a paragon of virtue and talent. However, the chinks in the armor of denial would soon become glaringly apparent. As we revisit A-Rod's denial and subsequent admission, we witness the fracture of a carefully constructed facade. The interview was a spectacle of assurance, with Rodriguez stressing his commitment to his God-given abilities and distancing himself from the allure of shortcuts. Yet the weight of the truth would eventually force its way to the surface. His admission to experimenting with a banned substance not only shattered the illusion of an untainted superstar, but also highlighted the dissonance between public statements and personal choices. A-Rod's journey from denial to acknowledgement serves as a stark reminder that even the most celebrated figures can find themselves entangled in the complex web of baseball's darkest secrets. The narrative of his fallibility laid bare prompts reflection on the expectations we place on our sports heroes and the consequences 
when those expectations collide with the reality of human frailty. Ryan Braun's case added a layer of deception with false accusations after winning the 2011 MVP award. Braun tested positive for an illegal drug, but successfully appealed, accusing the urine sample collector of bias. Braun's press conference professing innocence unraveled when he later admitted to using PEDs. As we reflect on those shocking revelations, it's evident that the biggest liars in the baseball world face significant consequences. From tarnished legacies to suspensions, their lies had a lasting impact on the sport and its fans. The question remains, who among these players is the worst offender? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Baseball Busters for more in-depth explorations of the game we love. Until next time, keep busting those myths.